Hi, I'm Emma. One morning, David woke up to find himself invisible. He looked in the mirror and saw nothing but a comb hanging in the air. Very good. Hi, I'm Sophia. Mom and Kenny look for David in the kitchen, but they couldn't see him or any part of him. Okay. Hi, I'm Ryan. On the school bus, kids kept sitting on David. At first, it was funny. Then David got annoyed. He had to push the girl. Good. Hello, my name is Alice. In his classroom, David handed for his teacher's desk and told Mrs. Cooper that he was invisible today. Good. Hello, I'm Lena. When Mrs. Cooper took attendance of the kids that David was absent, when Mrs. Cooper told them he was invisible, Ashley didn't believe it. Hi, I'm Diana. In history class, David knew the answer to all of the Mr. Cooper questions, but Mr. Cooper did not call on him because she couldn't see his hand raised. He finally came up with an idea. He left his pencil and Mrs. Cooper for on him. Everyone knew he was there too. Hello, I'm Sally. After launching Mr. Cooper on the playground duty, mm -hmm. he is telling about having no fans on the playground. So, so David could, couldn't play there. Very good. Hello, I'm Daniel. David front jump turned him off. He took off his baseball cap, put it on David. Then they ran onto the playground together. Good. Hi, I'm Hey. The next morning, David woke up. He couldn't see himself. He was. Uh, wondered if invisibility was catching. Very good. Hello, my name is Alice. A man wearing a black mask was trying to rob the bank. Everyone was very scared. They knew this man was a little crazy. Very good. Hi, I'm Ryan. Mr. and Ms. Dago was Captain Perfect's twin brother. They were both the children of the hero, but they were very different. Good. Hello, I'm Lena. Captain Perfect always said people and talk about us. However, Mr. and Ms. Dago usually had more people when he tried to help. Good. Hi, I'm Daniel. One evening, the twins heard on the news that Dr. Dunsey was trying to rob the feeding bag. Captain Perfecto ran out to catch the robber. Hi, I'm Emma. Mr. and Ms. Tego ran to the bank to save his brother. Dr. Dunsey and his worker were not scared. They knew Mr. and Ms. Tego could never do anything right. Good. Hello, I'm Diana. Dr. Dunsey punched Mr. and Ms. Tego in the stomach. Dr. Mr. and Ms. Tego let out the giant bird. bird. The smell was terrible and it meant Everyone fake. Good.